Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on pricing. Now pricing is all about the pricing mechanism and the pricing mechanism is how the demand and supply of a good decide and determine that goods price. So first of all if we look to the top left where we have equilibrium price. Now equilibrium price is the price where demand of a good equals its supply. That's the reason we call it equilibrium equal. So equilibrium price is the price where demand equals supply. And we can show this on a demand and supply diagram. And it's where the demand curve and the supply curve cross each other. Because at this point, the quantity being demanded is the same as the quantity being supplied. So therefore demand equals supply. And equilibrium price is also known as the market clearing price. Because this is where demand and supply are equal. It's essentially what it means. So if I have 100 goods, 100 of those goods will be sold. All of them will be gone. And there won't be any leftover demand after that. So equilibrium price, where demand equals supply, where the demand and supply curve cross. And it's also known as the market clearing price. So at equilibrium price, the market shall clear. Next, we have excess demand. And excess demand is a price where demand is greater than supply. And this is again shown on our uh, demand and supply diagram here. So on our price axes, the y-axis, we have price ED, so ED, our excess demand price. And if we go along right from that, we can see that where this price crosses the supply curve, we get QS. And when it crosses the demand curve, we get QD. And the quantity demanded, QD, is a greater number than the quantity supplied, QS. So therefore, demand is greater than supply. And this is where consumers are left unsatisfied. Because if there are two, there is demand for 200 goods, but only 30 are available, that means 170 consumers are left unhappy because they haven't got their good. So consumers are left unsatisfied. Next, we have excess supply. And excess supply is a price where demand is less than supply, or supply is greater than demand, whichever way you choose around to say it. And this, again, can be shown on our demand and supply diagram. So on our y-axis again, our price axis, our y-axis, we have price ES, or price excess supply. And at this price, if we go along right, where it crosses the demand curve, we get QD, and then we keep going where the price crosses the supply curve and we get QS. So in this scenario, it shows that the quantity being supplied, or QS, is further up, so therefore is bigger than QD, the quantity being demanded. So therefore supply is greater than demand. And that means that there is leftover stock, there is unsold goods. And that means that firms may not be able to cover their costs, because if they're producing 400 goods and they can only sell 300 they've got an extra 100 goods which they somehow still have to pay for but might not be able to make the money for because they can't sell them because demand isn't that high and now next we have how firms set prices now firms or businesses and companies they will set their prices depending on demand and supply and this is what the pricing mechanism is now it says in a free market prices will eventually always revert to the equilibrium price and this is true because if firms set the price of their goods so that we have excess demand so that demand is greater than supply that means they are not maximizing profit they're not making as much money as they could be because if they are only producing 50 goods but there's demand for 200 goods they're only selling 50 but they could be selling 200 so that means they will increase their price to the equilibrium price where they can produce 100 goods and sell 100 goods so therefore they've made more profit they've maximized their profit and firms will revert to the equilibrium price from excess supply as well because if it, if the price is high at excess supply as we've already said there will be leftover stock that they can't sell there'll be leftover goods which they cannot sell because the demand isn't there and it means they mo they may not be able to cover their costs because they produce these goods but can't sell them. So therefore they could make a loss and they could exit the market because they failed in making profit. So therefore, in a free market, 
if price is high at excess supply or if price is low at excess demand firms will always revert to the equilibrium price so that they can make profit and maximize their profit 